The Lord be with you. I am Pastor Greg Geyer bringing you greetings as we gather together even as we are not together this night and wishing you peace on this Lenten journey. Scripture says that wherever two or three are gathered, Christ is with us and this night I am blessed that my brother in Christ, Nathan Greiner, is here and we are practicing safe social distancing, but I'm very grateful for his presence with me as we are trying to do a new thing in Jesus' name. As I look out upon this empty sanctuary, I think about each of you, for I know where you generally sit. And please know that I am picturing you in my heart, where you are. We, though this is different, is a new thing, and we are a community of faith. We are still here together and want you to know that if you have any specific needs, to please contact the church office and we will be there for you. Let us take a moment as we continue to prepare our hearts and minds for worship this evening. Whether we are together and when we are apart, we live our lives and we worship, remembering our baptisms in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please pray with me. Lord Jesus, send your Spirit upon us as we come together even as we are physically separated. Unite our hearts in you. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Some selected verses from Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and foes, they shall stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord that will I seek after, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and in, to inquire in his temple. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. My brothers and sisters in Christ, grace to you and peace. From God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, amen. Those who know me well know that waiting is not one of my virtues. Unfortunately, I get impatient much too quickly. And especially when things are out of my control. And I don't know about you, but it seems that there have been many things, especially in this last week, that have been out of our control. And so I come to a psalm that has brought me comfort throughout my life, that reminds me where I am to put my hope and my trust, and that is in my Lord, who is our light and our salvation. We've tried putting our, our trust in other things. We have learned that putting things, trust in things that are within our power just doesn't work and we are swept about by circumstances that are beyond our control. And yet even in the midst of chaos, Christ promises to be with us. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We are seeing the goodness of people as we continue to reach out and care for one another, as we continue to lift up one another in prayer, as we live our lives in this time of safe social distancing, of 
remaining and residing in place, God's work is still being done. It is being done through the community of faith. It is being done through all of the brave women and men who are serving in so many ways. It is being done through those who are seeking vaccines for the coronavirus. Right now, it sounds like that we have a lot more waiting to do. And that's okay, for the Lord will be with us. And as we wait, we pray. We continue making connections with one another, checking in on friends and neighbors near and far. There is no challenge that is too big for God not to use to strengthen our faith to draw us closer to our Lord Jesus Christ and even to one another. And for that, we give thanks. Blessings to you, for we know the day will come when we will once again seek to live in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives, that we will once again be able to gather in this very space, lifting our voices of thanks and praise. And for that, I say thanks be to God. Amen. And now, I will step aside and my friend Nathan will come and join us. Oh, hi. This is uh, not circumstances that are normal, but we are here and we will shine God's light, Jesus, through all of us. I want to share a song. I've sang it in church a few times. It's called I Will Stand Strong. It's based off Psalm 27. Greg pretty much, he read all the lyrics. But I'm going to sing them again.
Sisters and brothers, if you would pray with me. O oh Lord, our light, our stronghold, our salvation, we pray for your world, O oh Lord, for all who have been impacted by the coronavirus, for all who are hurting or ailing in any ways, even beyond that. Send your spirit as we face these uncertainties that we may cling to your promise to know that nothing can separate us from your love. Use each one of us, O oh Lord, to be instruments of your love as we reach out to one another through emails, phone calls, text, tweets, whatever tools we may have to share your love, to keep us connected with one another and with you. Work through all the gifts you have given, the doctors, nurses, first responders, police officers, and all who continue to seek to protect us and keep us safe. Be with those who are providing care for loved ones. Watch over us, guard us, guide us, and keep us, for we are yours. We pray this not in our name, but in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for the sake of our sin, who rose that we might have the promise of eternal life, who taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And though it seems we have had some glitches, I am grateful for your patience. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen.